Do you have a pet? Yeah, a goldfish. A goldfish? A goldfish. <laughs> big? A big one? No, no, it's it's a small um, goldfish. Nice. Mm. And what does it do? Um, he swims. <laughs> The whole day? Well, no, actually, he has a little castle and he likes to play inside, you know, he goes up and down, in and out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's yeah. Nice. Mm. And you? Are you a pet person? No, I don't like pets. You don't like pets? I mean, it's okay, but, you know, high maintenance, uh, I live alone, I travel a lot, it's, it's not for me. Yeah, I don't travel much, but um, I live alone since my fiancé left me. Right, good, that's good for you. What do you mean? I mean, it's good for you that you don't travel a lot. No, that you live alone. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The steak is delicious, eh? Mm. How's yours, by the way? Really nice. Yeah, the carrots are, are great. And the broccoli is crunchy. Mm. Do you come here often? Um, I've been here a few times. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, the music is nice. Yes, it's very melodic. Yeah, melodic, I was going to say that. <laughs> and the piano is... Uh, is White? Yeah, white and, and big. Mm -hmm. Italian full body wine. Mm. It's nice. Full body's good. I like it. It goes well with the beef. And the carrots. Mm -hmm. How is everything? Ah, all perfect, thank you. Yeah. The steak was delicious. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. How do you like the view? Oh, stunning. I love the city lights at night. Thank you. Shall I bring another bottle? You know, wine always makes things better. Sure, why not? Maybe we could try a different one? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What would you like? What have you got? Well, maybe you would like a 2005 Scarecrow Rubber Hair Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a wine that is seductive, powerful, exquisite and exceedingly rare. Excuse me. Or maybe you would prefer a 2003 Domaine de Travelon Vue de Pays de Bouche de Rome, a wine that has attained cold stages for its non appellation Rome blend of Cabernet and Syrah. Do you mind if I see your wine list, please? Of course not.
Cheers. Cheers. Daniel, do you mind if I ask you something personal? No, of course not. Do you find this as awkward as I do? <laughs> yeah. Ask me something personal. What? Ask me something personal, whatever you want. I'll be honest, I promise. Okay, uh, have you got any brothers or sisters? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd answer any question and you ask me if I have brothers or sisters. Seriously. Okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what you had in mind. What color your panties? I'm not wearing any. What? Now it's my turn. Why? It was yours, now it's mine. It's a game. What are you afraid of? <laughs> of nothing, of course. Go ahead. How many girls have you brought here? <clears throat> Be honest. If you're not, I'll stand up and I'll leave you here alone in front of all these people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know the game. I'll be honest. This is my first time. And how do you find it? We said one question at a time. Okay. Go ahead, I'm waiting. The lenses of your glasses. Mm. Are they real? No. Let it loose. Your hair. Mr. Psychologist, did you bring a condom to this date? I did. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Come on, it's normal. You never know. Whatever, it's my turn. Okay, go ahead. I'm waiting. If this was your last day on Earth, would you choose this? Waiter, my lovely date here would like the top dish you have in your menu. You're not a rabbit. just that it's unusual for me to meet someone who I feel comfortable being myself with. I 
I wish I could be myself more often, but there are always these unwritten rules, you know. I think you can break them as long as it comes from your heart. Is your turn. If this was your last day on earth, how would you like this to end? <laughs> I love that. Restaurant. Yeah, what are you afraid of? Do you find it exciting? <laughs> you think we can get away with this? Eh? There is only one way to find out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you mind if I ask you something personal? 